that's how for Langomir isosome we can get the surface absorption isosome uh, absorption on uh, surface specific surface area and uh, people also have other types of absorption isosome which is not strictly monolayer coverage we may have from monolayer go to multi-layer it doesn't exactly plateau at low pressure okay then three scientists come up with the so-called BET theory for monolayer to multi-layer absorption initially monolayer but then quickly you start to once the first layer finished you start to have multi-layer absorption we'll quickly go through them it's also used for surface area analysis but also for uh, some poor poor size and poor volume distribution the three time test i'm not going to read their name in 1938 they published paper and uh, they make certain assumptions when they build up this model still it's what type of absorption physical absorption relatively weaker interaction okay not to go to specific side but generally cover on a solid in layers indefinitely which means going finish one layer you just keep building up okay idealize the situation no interaction between each absorption layer so the first layer covers the second layer can covers the third layer covers then as if it forgot okay there's something beneath it okay the longer meal theory can still be applied for each layer what does that mean means okay you cover off one layer then the second layer you are sobbed onto it as if it still applies the longer mirror theory covers the first partial coverage and the absorption desorption on the equilibrium you cover the second layer completely and then you cover third layer okay there are a few additional assumptions only molecule intera interaction is that absorbed molecule can act as absorption sites for a molecule of the upper layer the only that will be certain interaction but the only assumption the only uh, interaction is for additional gas to come down where can it absorb it can only absorb on after the first layer it can only absorb onto a existing gas molecule <laughs> that's essentially what we have said before upper most molecule is in equilibrium with gas phase okay the outer side gas absorbed gas is in equilibrium with the gas atmosphere okay kinetic limited process with constant absorption energy for the first layer and constant absorption energy for that equals to the heat of liquidation of our upper layer and at saturation the sample saturation when it reaches the saturation pressure the sample is immersed in a liquid phase of absorbate nitrogen gas then the sample surface is covered by as if a liquid nitrogen to do that you have to do the experiment on the liquid liquid, liquid nitrogen temperature okay bt absorption isosome expression i'm not going into the detail but that's essentially what people come up with they still get some types of equation that relates p your actual pressure p zero saturation pressure saturation pressure typically one atmosphere but depending on the temperature okay vad the amount of gas that is absorbed onto the sample surface on converted to stp okay vm volume of the gas to achieve monolayer surface coverage okay c is a fitting equation constant so that's what people got and let's continue a little bit the typical absorption desorption isotherm looks something like this for the monolayer to multi-layer no limit absorption continuous going up and when the pressure is low you start still start from zero because we said at the very beginning it's very similar to the longer mirror 
absorption isotherm. You go up and you go flat. After you achieve monolayer, you start to build up. That's the difference from longer mirror isotherm. Instead of curve become flat, you just keep going up and up. Okay, and it doesn't really reach plateau. Why? Because this is assuming you can build up indefinitely. Okay, that's the absorption isotherm. And this is our equation. Okay, and uh, the specific surface area still as for surface area, weight means specific, it's normalized by the sample weight, is still Vm. Vm for volume for the gas absorbed under monolayer coverage, but divided by the volume for ideal gas under STP condition for one molar. This ratio Vm divided by this 22,414 gives you how many moles? of gas absorbed onto each gram of your sample times our gradual number that gives you how many convert from how many mole to how many number of gas molecules and sigma again is the area for each of the gas molecule so how many number of gas molecule times the area of each molecule gives you the total surface area and again it is in the unit of meter square per gram and vm again is stp the gas absorbed converted to stp in the unit of centimeter cube per gram volume of the gas per gram of solid Okay, so this is still the same equation to calculate specific surface area. We still need the Vm. And for nitrogen gas molecule, we know sigma. And we have the same equation, except in this BET to get Vm. How do we get Vm? We're still going to do the same trick. P over P0, you know. VAD, you know, right? P over P0, you know, VAD, you know, and P over P0, you know, essentially we are going to plot the left side of this equation, left side, this whole thing of this equation versus P over P0. Okay, make sense? So the left side of this whole equation, we are plotting versus P over P0, P over P0. The slope of these types of curve would be this thing. C over 1, C minus 1 divided by Vm C. That's your slope. And the intercept gives you this one. So we have two variables. Once we do the fitting, how many variables do we have? One would be C, one would be Vm, right? We have two unknown one is vm one is c but uh, after we fit after we have these types of curl after we fit we have intercept and slope so we have two essential equations and the two unknowns we can mathematically solve for both vm and for that fitting constant c make sense that is essentially how we once and once we know the Vm, we can calculate the specific surface area. Okay, and the five typically for BET surface area, people typically use five data points in the range of relative pressure in the transition from low to intermediate. Relative pressure from 0 0.05 to 0 0.2, five or 0 0.3 roughly five points. That's how people typically do that. And C value, typically people come around 100 for this to be reliable analysis, okay? When the C is too far away from 100, either too small or too big, that means the BT model is not exactly um, suitable for your actual material, okay? And then for nitrogen, we have the boiling point, 
and uh, we know the surface area is typically used for most typical analysis, liquid nitrogen. But sometimes people use krypton, some other material, for analyzed for very low surface area analysis. Krypton, some other inert gas for um, specific surface area analysis. Okay.